Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be tasting two items that have been designed to have no taste, no flavor whatsoever. What am I talking about? I'm talking about these two items. These two items come from Japan. It's called Aji no Shinai Ame. So it's flavorless or tasteless candy. And it was designed, I believe, during the pandemic to relieve anxiety and to relieve dry mouth. So it's a lozenge that has no flavor whatsoever, no sugar, no sweetener, no taste, but it's supposed to kind of relax you because you have some sort of oral fixation happening here. 3.1 kilocalories. So there must be some sort of sweetener in this, although when I read about it, it said that it was not sweet. So perhaps it sounds a little unusual, right? But it was so popular that they continued to make it. You can find this at Lawson, which is a chain of convenience stores or konbinis as they are known as in Japan. The candy is made by Kanro and the gum is made by Lotte. And it took Lotte six months to develop this recipe for the gum. This also has no flavor. So the emphasis was placed on the texture. The texture is supposed to improve as you chew it and it's supposed to be long lasting. I love that consideration of design. I also really, really, really love Japanese style gums. They tend to be smoother in my opinion and softer in consistency, but in your mouth, they're really smooth and it doesn't take a lot of effort to chew them. Do you know how some gums, especially when you chew out all the flavor and the sugar, it just kind of stiffens and becomes really rubbery. And in my opinion, just not very pleasant to chew and immediately spit it out. It might be the fact that I have a little bit of TMJ, like some clicking in my jaw. So if it's too much effort for me to chew, then I don't want to chew the gum anymore. The Japanese gums are different. I remember first learning or discovering that when I was a kid and tasting Hello Kitty gums, like those little square gums that smelled fantastic. They smelled like erasers. So great. And I remember just being so wowed by the pleasant, smooth consistency of the gum. This style of gum, I believe based on the picture here, is going to be similar to some xylitol gums. It's going to have like a hard shell exterior, but we won't know till we try it. Incidentally, these were very kindly sent to me from Japan by Paul over at Critical Eats. Paul has been sending me things for years now. Paul, thank you so much for taking the time and effort to send these to me. You can also find him on YouTube and I'll put a link to his channel down below. So let's try the ame or the candy first. Very cute packaging. And we open it like this. And sure enough, I mean, this is just the packaging after all. There is no smell. It smells like plastic. Inside we have individually wrapped candies, so it makes sense that I wouldn't smell anything. And here they are. There are not very many. <laughs> kind of look how you would imagine them to look, right? It's round, it's kind of like a little cylinder rounded on the top and the bottom and actually quite pretty. This whole concept of being flavorless or tasteless reminds me a little bit of when I was recovering from COVID a couple of years ago and I completely lost my sense of taste and smell. It was quite shocking and I did a few videos where I tried to regain it. I tried experiments tasting things that I really disliked to see if, if there was any way that I could taste anything. So if you want to see those videos, be sure to check those links down below. I very thankfully have recovered my sense of taste and smell. So let's see if these are indeed tasteless or flavorless. Alrighty, here we go. Itadakimasu. As you can hear, a hard candy. And I don't, I don't taste anything, but there is just a very, very faint sweetness. So it's not like I'm sucking on a piece of plastic or a marble. It doesn't have that kind of foreignness. Definitely feels like a lozenge and the experience is like a lozenge, like a cough drop, right? It makes your mouth water. So you salivate. There's some very vague 
subtle, subtle, subtle sweetness to it, but no taste. But it's a familiar thing though, to have that little lozenge kind of tucked in your cheek bags, like a little chipmunk. <laughs> it definitely gives your tongue something to do. If you've got an oral fixation, if you're trying to concentrate and alleviate anxiety as advertised, then I think it definitely does it. And I don't taste anything. Yet it doesn't taste alien either. It doesn't taste like plastic or some sort of chemical. It's familiar, just flavorless, no flavor whatsoever. <laughs> it's odd, but at the same time, not very odd because we've all sucked on a lozenge or a vitamin C drop or a cough drop to kind of get that throat lubrication. Oftentimes I carry a little hard candy in my bag because when my throat tickles, it always happens when I need to be quiet. If I'm watching a performance, for example, or at the movies or something like that, and my throat tickles, usually when I'm recovering from a cold, and then I'll have this inexplicable urge to cough. So then I have a little hard candy in my purse. It's kind of like what your aunties would give you, your grandma would give you, right? One of those little things that are buried in the corners of the recesses of her purse, like an old <laughs> mentholated cough drop or one of those butterscotch candies. Now let's try the gum version. Apparently there are different designs of statues from what I've read and I got David. So I believe that's implying that they're the very long lasting, like this piece of artwork. Ooh, this has a little bit of a fragrance. Well, that one had nothing. This one smells a little bit slightly fruity. Oh, I like it. A little bit of that Sanrio store smell. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I like it. All right. So inside are lots of tidy gums. Oh, look. So I thought these were gonna be like xylitol gums with a hard kind of candy coating, but it doesn't look like it. They're perfect little pillows and they look a little bit dusty. Doesn't look like it has a hard shell at all. Look at that, they're all perfect. They've kind of got a matte finish to them. And then look at this. This is one of my favorite things that come with some Japanese gums. Let me explain. The first time I saw one of these, I was completely perplexed, but then I said, oh my gosh, this is genius. So this is a tiny pad of paper. Isn't that great? And it's like post-it note paper. It's got a little gummy on it. And this is for disposing your gum when you are finished. How considerate, isn't that great? I'm always looking for a little scrap of something, a piece of trash to spit my gum out into so I can throw it away. Well, this gum provides it for you. Latte in particular, I've tried other gums before. Their Xylitol gum is my favorite, but they provide these little blue post-it notes, which is so just great, because then you always have some little scrap of paper to spit out your gum. And it's just so stinking cute, right? All right, here we go. Flavorless gum. Hmm. It's a little bit stiff in the beginning, and there's no candy coating at all. It's kind of just dusty and dry, which is not what I really expect when I have this style or shape of gum. I'm expecting that crunch of the candy on the outside. This doesn't have it. Well, immediately it's a bit stiff and there is a subtle, subtle flavor of like ramen candy or that Sanrio store smell. Very subtle, but it's there. As opposed to the other one where I didn't detect anything whatsoever. But generally, no taste. Oh, but as it's warming up and sitting in my mouth, it's starting to soften. And it is very pleasant. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. It's just a tiny scrap of gum. It's much smaller than any kind of gum that we would find here stateside. Even Trident, I think, would be two pieces of gum. Let's do another one. Mmm. Now when you have two pieces, it definitely feels like a big enough piece of gum to chew. But I completely understand why you would want a smaller piece of gum because you can just tuck it into your little cheek pouch. It's more discreet and it makes less of that kind of popping chewing sound, yet it gives you that oral fixation satisfaction. Hmm. I like it. 
It's like when you chew regular gum and all the flavor is gone. It's like that, but the gum is very smooth and slippery and not at all tough. There is a little bit of sugar, I think, in there, but nothing substantial. I sound like I farted. I definitely like these more than I expected. Of the two, I think I like the gum more. When I first heard about it, I said, come on, gimmick, really, what's the point? You kind of get the point now, you know? It's just something to keep you occupied and busy without having too much flavor going on, you know? Of course, you don't get the brush freshening qualities I kind of associate with gum. That's oftentimes why I chew it, but maybe that's not what you're looking for. Maybe you just want to be busy without too many calories or flavor. <laughs> I don't know. And then when you're finished, you take your little scrap of paper and you can dispose of your gum. Because I took two pieces of gum, that piece of paper is not quite big enough. So see how cleverly designed it is? It's designed for just one piece of gum. Love that. All right, my lovelies. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video. Subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodoo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>